Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Real quick, before I get into this video, I want to tell you about PopCultureZone.com. They are a website specializing in comic books, some of the hottest variants, and CGC comics. And for those raw comics, if you are shipping to the domestic United States, you only pay $4.99 flat rate shipping. PopCultureZone.com. Now on to the video. Yeah. But staying with some comic news, we got some news coming from Marvel too, right, Andy? El Beardo? Oh, we do, and I'm going to follow suit with uh, McClay here and try this because I liked how that worked with just the screen sharing function here. Because Marvel's new Iron Fist probably is a Chinese hero that's been waiting in the wings for years. I'm kind of excited about this one. They may have and it's one that we know of. The new Iron Fist for in the moment it announced Danny Rand's retirement. Uh, the moment it announced Danny Rand's retirement. So I'm actually kind of digging this news. I'm pretty excited. You know, Marvel's reveal the hero will become the new Iron Fist, taking the mantle from Danny Rand, fame, frames the character's identity as a mystery to be solved when his just-announced limited series kicks off in February 2022. But one of my favorite parts about this is they actually put some pieces of the puzzle on the cover, and it's a great ASM50 homage here. But then you've got Iron Fist suit laying in the trash there. You've got what appears to be the shards of the Swordmaster's sword. And then also in the reflection of the window above uh, his right shoulder is a reflection of one of the demons from the Swordmaster series, if I remember correctly. And there's one of the hands just above the trash can. So uh, I really like how they've kind of planted some imagery here to... <sighs> I'm not going to call this a slam dunk, but this feels pretty good. I don't know. What do you guys think? Yeah, well, and it's important to know that uh, Games Radar, who's run this article, is not confirming it, but they're like major speculating on the cover and, and pulling their Columbo that's saying it's Swordmaster. I don't think they're actually confirming it in the article, but from everything no. they're pointing out, to me, I would agree, kind of points in that direction. And and we already have talked about that War of the Realms, Ages of Atlas book plenty of times. And then I just shared the video again on Twitter about how years ago we talked about cover a being a long-term play which is now what a hundred dollar book or somewhere around there i think this is just going to add more heat to that book with sword master and then i'm all about seeing him become the new iron fist i haven't read iron fist in, in a while my last favorite iron fist series was when was it matt fraction was writing it yep but uh, i like well, seeing the changing of the guard and and, the, and seeing the new characters and, and um we I like seeing that uh, we talked about Agents of Atlas before and how that whole Asian uh, influence was coming into comics in a big way where I don't know if it will or not. I think Dan has touched on this as well, where, you know, it's kind of that crossover. It's not quite quite manga or anime, but it kind of brings you into that realm a little bit more. And I think that's a perfect story, perfect situation. And like you said, a perfect storm. And I'm kind of excited to read Iron Fist again. What's happening with Danny Rand? What's going on with him? He's dying. The article Gone. didn't didn't go what into depth on why they were were retiring him, and like Brian said, well, the article... we know why we're reti they're retiring him, right? Because he doesn't sell comics. <laughs> yeah, that's why we're retiring him. Yeah, and he doesn't sell comics, and he doesn't sell he doesn't get views on TV shows either. That's why they're retiring. They're trying to change something up. But are they going to just, is he just gone? Are they going to maybe try and make him a new hero or something? That's that, that's interesting, you know. No one's ever gone. And I remember when he gave up the, the thing, he was just like, I didn't. I don't want to deal with it anymore. So he gave gave it up, right, recently. Yeah. So. Taylor brings up a good point there. If it's Sore Master, new writers might not get creative royalties. Ooh. I didn't think of that. Yeah. So for the first appearance of Swordmaster, it's actually the War of the Realms New Agents of Atlas issue two. Yep. And um, White Fox, who's the leader of the Korean team, is her first appearance in Const Contest of Champions issue one. Which She's like, ass. no one is, everyone's sleeping on this. There was a sweet and, variant for that too, right? Yeah. If I remember correctly. Yeah. And, yeah. With, by Hard you. Yeah. Um, and, um, these characters coming, folks. I mean, like these. They, 
Marvel knows how popular uh, the stuff is in Asia and how important it is in Asia. So these characters are coming. I mean, but how's Marvel doing, huh? <laughs> I guess that we're going to talk about that soon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I like the homage cover, but then I like the, the other Iron Fist number one cover that's just got the new Danny Rant. Well, the new Iron Fist, it looks like on the cover. I like the costume. The costume's really good. Really but I good. also want to know how he becomes Iron Fist. Well, one of the things that they say in the in the um, article is that maybe when he, that sword gets broken, that he like all that power goes into him, and that's how he he gets the Iron Fist power or something similar to the Iron Fist power, right? Because yeah. d- don't doesn't Iron Fist usually have to get the power by beating one of the the dragons or something yeah. like that? I don't remember if it was. I don't remember if it was specifically like beating the dragon, but I do mention. I do remember seeing the article mention that they have to uh, insert his hands or something to do with the dragon to be imbued with that power, and uh, that's how it kind of was similar. Where the sword was a similar power but more sinister, and the sword breaking if it takes over uh, Lin Lai, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, then therein lies the power, but there's like a sinister element to it too, that I'm kind of inter- interested to hear more about and read more about. Yeah. And then Drew brought up a good point about that Swordmaster number one, one in 50 variant. One to look out for as well. Um, I mean, this doesn't come out till February, but I think it's one thing to bring up now. And then, you know, uh, so February you're hitting previews in, in December, right? So if it's something that's that interests you, I would still be on the lookout for that War of the Realms, Ages of Atlas, and and that whole those Ages of Atlas books also, right? Even the um, what are those books called where they were spotlighting the characters, and then they had like the Raza variants for them. Oh, yeah, brain farts. But they had like uh yeah, eo and like each one had like a raza variant spotlight and each one of the characters from uh, they were hot the raza virgin variants or whatever were like super hot they were like but the people weren't picking up the regular covers and those regular covers were heavily overlooked at the last two conventions i went to yep. and you're muted if you're trying to talk mcclay okay you said deep thought me. No, I was, I was, you know, talking to myself. Mm. Yeah. Mm. X gonna give it to you. <laughs>